Next to me is the Faraday Future FF91. And if you haven't heard of it, listen up, because this is set to be one of the craziest electric cars to hit the market. It's got three different electric motors for a combined output of 1,050 horsepower. Yes, that's right, 30 more horsepower than the almighty Tesla Plaid. Zero to 60 happens in a ridiculous 2.39 seconds and a very impressive range of 381 miles. So what is the FF91? Well, simply put, it's the flagship and first ever production vehicle from Faraday Future. And it's made right here in Southern California. And with a crazy design inside and out, I'm extremely excited to be one of the first people outside the company to actually drive this. While the car looks futuristic from every angle, the side has some particularly cool design elements. For one, you'll notice there's no door handles. Instead, we've got these little buttons seamlessly integrated into the side of the vehicle. If you press and hold them for a bit, the door will actually automatically open all the way, allowing you to easily climb in. And one of my favorite parts of the car is, if you press and hold the rear door, opens up to reveal that this thing has suicide doors. How cool is that? Now, if you come in close, I'm gonna give you a little teaser. We'll show you more later on. These zero gravity seats are absolutely insane. How crazy are these wraparound LED taillights? They're actually made up of the Faraday Future logo repeated over and over again. It almost reminds me of the taillights of the $5 million Bugatti Devo. Really cool design language. I also like this rear wing here, and every single element of the car has been made to decrease the coefficient of drag in the name of performance and efficiency. So things like this, the vents are actually functional. The interior is where things get really interesting. Tesla has taken minimalism to too far of an extreme, in my opinion. Yes, they're very fast. Yes, they have decent range, but the interiors are not really worthy of their six-figure price tag. Faraday Future has turned that completely upside down. So it's broken up into kind of three sections. We've got the driver seating position here with a crazy F1 inspired steering wheel. It's kind of a hybrid between a yoke and a normal steering wheel. I actually really like the way this feels in your hands. Then we've got this floating trim here. So we've got all of the instrument cluster information right here. Then if we take a look at the middle, we've got this floating display that has fantastic graphics. One thing that I really like is they've got this patented control for, look at the climate control. If I use three fingers on the screen, I can easily change the temperature in the car. That way, if you're driving along, it's a little bit too hot. You don't have to take your eyes off the road and boom, you're good to go. Same thing with the volume, three fingers up and down. Now, something I've never seen before in any other car is this display right here for the passenger. You can actually be driving and the passenger can watch movies and TV shows and be completely entertained because of a privacy screen. And so the driver can be safe driving this way and you can listen or watch movies. How cool is that? But the really cool part is in the back. Not only does this car look like a spaceship, it takes inspiration from space as well. Apparently, NASA claims that in a zero gravity environment, your body assumes this neutral position. And Faraday Future has basically made these seats so that your body rests in a neutral position. They recline up to 60 degrees. The level of legroom and headroom in here is unparalleled. It is actually one of the most comfortable experiences you can have in the back of a car. I mean, you're reclined farther than you can in a Rolls Royce. Of course, you also can have ventilation and massage as well. There's 11 screens in the car, one of which is right here on the door itself. It's really interesting. Faraday Future developed this car before the new BMW 7 Series. And if you note, the 7 Series has the little door screen and they also have a massive theater screen. So this is a 27 inch ultra HD widescreen display that you can use to watch your favorite vehicle versions <laughs> videos or movies in the back of the car. Now, another really cool thing is it's got three different 5G modems. That way when you're on the go, you can actually do a real Zoom meeting on the screen and you can be in the back of your car as comfortable as ever and get some legitimate work done. Now. The thing I want to experience and the thing I want to show you guys the most is what is this thing actually like to drive? So let's hop in the driver's seat and find out. All right, we are in the driver's seat of the FF91 about to take this thing for a spin. So let's go over how you actually drive it. It's got a stock 
not unlike many Teslas and Mercedes, where you press down for drive, press backwards for reverse, and press in for park. Now we've got this awesome display here where you can switch between eco mode, comfort, sport, and even a launch control mode. You can also put on a heated steering wheel as well. Now, if you go over to the door setting, you can actually lock and unlock and open and close all of the doors simultaneously if you want. I love this feature. Watch when we click open right here. All of a sudden, the door opens. And it's so easy to get in and out of the vehicle. Click close all, and all of a sudden, that door will close. All right, guys, let's take this thing for a spin. So apparently, I am the first YouTuber to ever get to drive the Faraday Future FF91, so I'm very honored for the opportunity. We're gonna put it into drive right now, and then we're gonna go ahead and take off nice and slow at first, and then we'll show you the actual performance characteristics of this vehicle. Now, when I first saw it, I wasn't sure, is this a sedan, is this an SUV? What exactly is it? Because it's larger than a sedan, but it feels smaller than an SUV. And the way they described it is, it's kind of a one car fits all. So you've got the supercar performance of 1,050 horsepower, and then you have the comfort of something like a Rolls Royce SUV. And I don't, I'm not saying that lightly. This actually does ride unbelievably smoothly. It, it floats above the ground. And then those seats in the back are absolutely insane. Uh, and then at the same time, you've got this sport sedan level of performance as well. The suspension firms up, it's got active rear wheel steering, torque vectoring, so it actually does handle really, really well. Um, it is impressive. It also weighs 6,000 pounds, which means it's tax deductible, which is pretty darn cool. And it's only a little bit heavier than the Model X Plaid that's about 5,800 pounds, so pretty much negligible, and it's got a little bit more power. So now we're going to ramp up the pace a little bit to show you, I am really impressed with the turning radius, a big vehicle, but all right, here we go, flooring it. <laughs> this thing takes off like a rocket. It's awesome that they've got this uh, mini test track in the front yard. We're actually at the factory right now and uh, having a blast out here. This is pretty sweet. Look at how many of them are lined up right here. There's some secret stuff behind there. Very awesome. Man, it really starts picking up at about 35 miles an hour. This thing absolutely rips. For a heavy vehicle, it really does perform well. And I think in terms of having a comfortable daily driver, the suspension does such a phenomenal job of being smooth to a, to an extreme degree. I mean, this is like S-Class level, Rolls-Royce level suspension. But then it also has really good body roll control when you're going around corners. And then of course you've got the crazy level of acceleration, which is just absolutely awesome. <laughs> This thing is awesome. All right. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Like always, please browse the channel and subscribe. Special thanks to Faraday Future for allowing this video to be possible. This thing is actually really awesome, and it's going to hit the market soon. And I'm so happy that I, guys, that I got to give you guys a preview uh, effectively before anyone else. All right, guys. Look forward to seeing you next video. Ah!